Hey, what's up, folks? Hey, Alex with Bay Cities Construction here. Hey, we're with our friends at Simpson. They're, we're both exhibiting here at the AOA show, and I want to introduce you to a few of the Simpson team members, and I want to talk to you, uh, I want to let them talk to you about their really cool products for soft story retrofitting, so check it out. We got Carlos here. Howdy, howdy. Angel. How you doing? We're here for the show and we want to share with our, our viewers, there's a lot of people that are very curious about the different methodologies for doing soft story retrofits. And you guys are the experts at the moment frame. And, and obviously you have a long reputation for the connectors, but kind of walk us through what we, you have a, a cross section here of a moment frame. Tell us what, uh, what you got here. Let's talk a little bit about our, our moment frame, right? So the model we have here is just a replica of a, of a section of our special moment frame. Every moment frame is designed to fail. It's how it fails that, that, that differentiate them one from the other. So our specific special moment frame, as you can see, you have your column, you have your beam, and then you have our differentiating piece being the yield link. So the yield link is the reduced beam section that you would find in your typical, traditional, built up special moment frame. We're talking about failure mechanisms, right? So a moment frame, any moment frame in the market is designed to do its job well, do its job well one time, like an airbag. Our system is more like a fuse. So how do you protect an electrical system? You add a fuse to it. That's the concept behind our link. Our link is a sacrificial member. It's a standalone piece. It's not built into part of the column or the beam. It's its own piece. So once it's failed, the concept behind it is the way we developed it, researched it, tested it, and took it to market is you can replace the link and save the integrity of the frame. So Carlos, what you're saying is this section here, which would be the beam that goes over the opening. Correct. The, the damage wouldn't happen to this. It would happen to this. Correct. In this case, we've got two different model links to allow for a shallower beam. We have an end plate, an end plate link, or if you have a deeper beam, you'll have two individual links like that. Many people have asked us on social media, so when you say failure, are we talking about this breaks, like literally snaps? No, it does not. So again, we're talking about failure, the mechanism of how this link is gonna fail, it's gonna fail in tension. So when it breaks, essentially. By the way, it's 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 beyond severe, the pressure that they put correct. on it. Yeah, so when these links have broken, basically, nothing really happens to the connection because you have your shear tab connecting the column to the beam and that's absorbing or accounting for your gravity loads. So even if these two links were to break in here and separate, your beam is not gonna collapse. I think that's a big concern for, for those of you that are out there that still don't understand, haven't quite gotten your head around. There's a concept that you design to save lives, right? And, that, and that's the bare minimum that the city is at this point. The folks that, are, that have come up with engineering it to the next level where you're minimizing the actual structural damage, right? And, and many times you'll see this, this is definitely a, an upgraded product in the sense that it's many times put into a portfolio building, right? A building that, that people are looking for a long haul. It's not a flip, they're not gonna just keep it for a few years. This is something that's gonna get passed on either in a portfolio or in a family from generation to generation. Right. So we spoke about failure mechanisms, right? We spoke about all moment frames failing and how they fail, right? Well, what's to say a building owner does their retrofit, right? They're completed, they get their new occupancy certificate, right? And the very next day, you have the earthquake. Then the moment frame that they had, if it was a sightable frame or any other frame that isn't a Simpson special moment frame, you'd have to go back in and you'd have to do the retrofit work all over again. You'd have to assess your beam, assess your column, figure out you know what's basically destroyed and figure out a, a way a very intrusive way of how to repair that if you can repair it in our facility in Riverside and in Stockton we test these frames to their full capacity once they yield we'll replace the links we'll run the test again and we call it a hysteresis curve so it basically matches up the capacity of the frame before and after we made it fail with the original links with the replacement links and we get the exact same uh, low capacities. Well, the, the cost to repair yeah. is going to be a fraction. So let me walk you through what, from a contractor's perspective, what we're talking about to do the actual repair, right? So when we're talking about uh, a welded frame, 
these bolts aren't here. This is all welded. So when we're replacing it, you basically have to uh, torch cut all of this stuff, th this connection, the beam to the column connection, because it'll ha it'll have been distorted at the beam. All right. And in many in many cases, you have to torch cut the column and break the grade beam that was created on the floor. The grade beam that most of these are specced out to, it's insanely fortified. It's got rebar, super hard concrete. It is an expensive endeavor. So if you've got a portfolio building, I think that you should definitely consider this product. It's an amazing invention. Once your project has been designed, has been approved, and you're ready to go to construction, it's how quickly you can get in and out of that building, right? So the least amount of time you can disturb the residences as a building owner, that's always going to be a plus. The ease and the quickness of installation of our moment frame is it's, I want to say by far, it's its secondary biggest, you know, value benefit to the, to, to the building owner. So to assemble our frame, you need to just install or connect a series of 11 bolts. Four bolts on the bottom link, four bolts on the top, three bolts that connect the shear tab to the beam. That's the connection required to make the connection between your column and your beam. By having this done at the factory, you're saving the tenants a tremendous amount of heartache with the noise. Partially fabricating this in the field requires special inspection. It's very noisy, it's time consuming. And remember, you're welding at a building that's made out of wood, okay? So for those of you that know a little bit about welding, there's some substantial fire hazards. You have to take a lot of precautionary steps to make sure you don't have a fire on site. And by the way, we have a video, a time-lapse video of the Simpson sales guys putting that together <laughs> that we'll put on the link below. And you guys will see how easy, technically speaking, putting it together is, is an easy endeavor. Getting the whole building prepped up for it, you need somebody like us. But, but for the most part, uh, putting, assembling this is pretty easy. It's pretty easy and fast.